Cheers. Welcome to the Randy McDonough channel. This channel talks about the cool music that belongs in your collection and the cold beer that belongs in your fridge, eh? Okay, so with no further ado, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, colored vinyl, eh? Colored vinyl and other oddities. So uh, colored vinyl is pretty cool, eh? It was, or was really cool. Again, the lost art of vinyl. I don't know if they still do colored vinyl anymore uh, with the new issues, but, uh, you know, I know they sure did. So anyway, uh, I'm going to start with an interesting one I think is pretty cool, eh? Is the uh, Buzzcocks. And uh, this one's a nice bright red vinyl, and I don't even have to take it out of the vinyl or in the vinyl wrapper, eh? Because it's... Uh, they kindly made it clear so it really stands out. So I got this cool one, uh, kind of an EP. It's got uh, three songs here and uh, they're all pretty cool uh, by the Buzzcocks. You might remember them. They're still going, eh? Uh, I've seen this band a bunch of times from uh, like early 80s all the way through. Then they were gone. Late 70s, uh, I think they were toast by 81. Then back again in like 89, 90. And I saw them like four or five times. I saw them at the Danforth Music Hall way back like I want to say 1980, 79, 80, I don't know. Uh, I saw them many times uh, in their second coming, and they were just as good a band, eh? So, anyway, uh, great song on here, Our Everything. Uh, strange Thing, What Do You Know? Why She's a Girl from Chain Store, Airwaves, Dream, Running Free. Anyway, if you can find it, check it out, eh? Songs might be online somewhere anyway, but uh, notice the old International Record Syndicate label with the rainbow. Kind of... Kind of ripping off the old Capital one, but uh, this is more punk bands, right? IRS was around from, uh, what, about 79 until, jeez, uh, probably into the 90s. And then it was Toast, and then uh, then uh, it was distributed by a bunch of people, tried to bring it back, but it, it died in 2015 completely. So no sign of IRS anymore, eh? Except in our memories, you know, in dreams. And, uh, yeah. Oh, quick note, I got some orange juice going. For all you young guys, make sure you get your vitamin C every day. Take it how you want. Uh, tablet for me. Uh, you know, and a fruit. I like it. Uh, I like to have mine with vodka. So I got a vodka and orange going here. Uh, also known as a screwdriver, right? Long lost name. But old bartenders know that, right? You ask for a screwdriver. Maybe try and throw a curveball at your local bartender, eh? And they may not know what it is, eh? Anyway, get your vitamin C. Okay. Moving right along, uh, I got this uh, reissue of Yellow Submarine by the Beatles uh, in 1999. Anyway, it's quite collectible already, eh? And uh, beautiful. I think it's better looking than the original. Uh, the dust isn't so nice that I have on it, but other than that, eh? Take it right off. Uh, look at that, eh? Kind of cool. Big submarine. Open it up. You get the whole package deal, eh? Uh, there's the back part. You already saw it. And inside, total psychedelic, eh? So cool. But that's not an endorsement to do LSD, you guys. Avoid that, eh? Known some badass and casualties. Of which I'm not one, by the way, eh? For sure. Um, so anyway, hey. Look at this, yellow. Nice and yellowy. Lemon yellow. Sorry, I got some glare there, but that's a beauty, eh? Pretty rare this one, so I uh, take pretty good care of it. Uh, it's covered in dust, but other than that, you know, I take care of it, right? The vinyl's still cool. So uh, how about that? You know, I'm not going to talk about the music. You know all the songs already, eh? Uh, all of them are very famous, so. Yellow, we got red, yellow. And here's another one uh, you might remember going back a few years, 1980, right? Uh... Split Ends, True Colors. This album was awesome. Uh, came in many colors, the outside too, eh? Like, I think got eight different covers. Something like that, right? Uh, variations of this. And uh, on the inside, it was really freaky in 1980, right? This was considered uh, 21st century for sure, eh? They had uh, laser etching. So, super cool. Look at that, eh? Man, it's even... Whoa, it's a rainbow again. Ripping off the old Capitol label in a way. Look at that, eh? So cool. Wow. 
So when you put it on your turntable, right, and uh, back then and you see all these colors, if you had the light shining on it, and wow, everybody was really entertained, right? You didn't need, uh, there wasn't quite videos yet. Videos you know, came out big, I think, the next year. So that was, in a way, your own video. But uh, really cool. Laser etching, 21st century, but the uh, thing is, there was no uh, LPs were gone for a long time, so they were way ahead of their time, eh? Uh, okay. So moving right along again, there's a little 45, so not always the big ones were colored. Here's a little 45, great song, cool for cats. Check it out, if this one isn't, your, isn't in your collection, get it, right? Cool for cats, cool for your collection. Take it from Randy. Uh, A&M, look at that, pink. Woo, sweet. There's the backside for those of you who are curious. Always good to check out a backside, eh? <laughs> All right, next one. Mr. Elvis Costello, right? Uh, interesting out, uh, cover for this. There, That's more of a typical pose for him, right? There's him and the attractions in the background. Uh, he's got an interesting outfit on. He looks like an optical illusion, eh? Look at all those lines going all those different directions. But hey, this was still the 70s, right? So, uh, you know, there you go. But here we go. It's a stiff record. And... Uh, it's kind of a yellowy with an interesting, looks almost like a brownish hue around the center. I don't know if that's just rotting or what, but uh, anyway, it's from 1977, so it's been around a while, but pretty cool too, yellow. All right, moving right along. Check it out, Blue says it all. Blue Vinyl. The name of the song is Blue by Fine Young Cannibals. Uh, came out in 1985, right? And uh, on the IRS label. So this was the other IRS label. Uh, I showed you the other one earlier, right, with the rainbow. So, it's the one, first uh, IRS, re International Records Syndicate, eh? Then the classic dude with the hat on. Everybody really liked that one. I think this was a little better. But anyway, uh, there's Blue by Fine Young Cannibals. Check this out. Great album uh, that came out in 1985, but I'll uh, review that at some point. Take it out of the plastic for a little extra effect. Sweet, eh? Very nice. All right, eh? Cool. Okay, next up. Uh, one that came out much later. Rebirth of Vinyl, I guess, uh, in a way. So here I am talking about it again, you know, asking questions. But yeah, it's not quite a lost art. 2010, eh? Uh, Gogo Bordello. Produced by Rick Rubin, who you know from many songs. God, I won't even get into him right now. Time is tight, right? So you guys can check it out yourself, Rick Rubin work. But uh, Gogo Bardello, we coming rougher and transcontinental missile or something, eh? Never even opened this one. Paid $7.99 for it in 2010, right? So I thought I'd keep it locked in the vinyl. Bought the album on uh, iTunes. I don't want to admit that, eh? But uh, anyway, here goes, eh? Pretty cool, green. And lastly, I got kind of a cool one by uh, Dukes of Stratosphere from 1987, right? And it says on it, limited edition color vinyl so uh, you American guys out there might not know but color is all we spell it in Canada and the UK and Australia New Zealand and any other English speaking country uh, C-O-L-O-U-R whereas you spell it C-O-L-O-R so anyway uh, you know you guys are more economical right so that's why use less space with your color but anyway, uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but uh, this one, it's got kind of a mishmash of colors, like a purple background, a dark purple background, and uh, kind of multicolor of all the other albums I've been showing you, eh? So it's kind of a good way to end it. I've uh, got all these different colors, right? So cool. Love staring at this sometimes. Stare at it for too long, but uh, once in a while. But it's pretty nifty, eh? So uh, and you might recall, this is uh, was XTC's side project. So if you know the band XTC... So making plans for Nigel and uh, a bunch of other great songs by those guys. So that's where I am. I've come to the end of my colored vinyl thing. Uh, you know, I had red, yellow, pink. You know, sounds uh, sounds kind of like the Lucky Charms ad, right? Pink heart. What is it? Pink hearts, yellow moons, green clovers. Frosted Lucky Charms are magically delicious, eh? So that's almost what I can call about all these colored vinyls. They were magically delicious. So... Maybe you can go out and find one if you want them or, uh, or just enjoy this video and uh, look at mine. 
Okay, so rate, subscribe, comment. I'd uh, love to hear from you about your vinyl. Uh, maybe throw on some links if you have some colored vinyl too. I know some of you do out there, eh? All right. Thanks, eh?